It's time for our weekly options alert with Alan Duckman of Agora Financial. Hello to you, Alan. Good morning, Angie. Let's start with your trader talk on the market. What do you think about the market? Nothing to say. And I usually have something to say at all times. <laughs> New highs daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and forever. I'm not going to try and pick the top. It's a broken record. Yeah, same old thing. But if you're bullish, it's been uh, doing very well. The last time you were on the show, you talked about a trade in Mosaic. How mm -hmm. is that performing for you? Doing very well, growing some profits. Now, we took some off the table. I see um, what you did there. Yeah. We move $1 Mosaic, and that's what I want to illustrate here, that small moves in the underlying stock with these weekly options can have big payoffs. So the stock went from 20 to 1 to nearly 22, so that's only a 5% move. But the option gained 50%. We took off half our positions with a 50% profit, and we'll see what happens by Friday. A push above 22 could give it another nudge to the upside. Well, checking your WPI trade trigger today, what stock do you like? The new stock is Pfizer. Now, Pfizer is up 7% in the last year compared to the Dow in general, up 25%. Pays the dividend. That's a stock that has long been forgotten. Let's remember it was 1998 that that little blue pill was invented. So they kind of lost their luster, uh, but they've rebounded back a bit here. And uh, we're making another move. We've been trading between 32 and 36 now for more than two years, breaking out above 36. That targets 40, and the smart money is going in. Look for big moves here in Pfizer. And again, these are weekly options trades, so they are fast trades. Right. So the weekly options we're looking at here is the October 13th, so not this Friday, but Friday next, uh, and we're looking at the $35 call uh, to take advantage of Pfizer continuing to move higher. Before we take off, your trading floor takeaways. Three things. Uh, three is a trading floor number this way. But the day is due. Everybody's asking when this day is going to happen. Now, the people have been holding up these signs that the end is near. Their arms are getting very, very tired. <laughs> we haven't true. seen a 3% move in stocks since November. So this is the longest streak since 1995. It's going to happen someday, but not anytime soon. And here you go with number two, day do two. Yeah, day do two. <laughs> someday the, it's going to happen. The VIX is going to make new lows. It's been since July 26 that we made that all-time forever extreme low. Even though the stock market continues go higher and higher and higher. We're kind of stuck at this 950 level in volatility. We've been trading between 10 and 12 for about five months. That targets eight on the downside. So a lot more downside in volatility, a lot more upside in stocks. Just look at it mathematically. And last on your list, earnings season is on your mind. Season starts. Now for me, it doesn't really kick off until the banks go October 13th, which is Friday, October 13th. And I'm not as scared. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But what we're expecting is modest growth this quarter, 4% growth. Now that's much less than we had 10%, two quarters in a row. So be aware that we have low expectations and that we've achieved, overachieved now on our companies here. 70% uh, of the time they beat expectations. So if that happens, we're going to get another boost in the market up, up and away. Well, thanks for coming on the show. We'll see you next week. Thank you.